the saddest thing about being a grown-up is that you don't realize that you get to do all the stuff you wanted to do when you were a little kid, right? Like everybody's so miserable because they don't count their blessings. <laughs> right, like we get to eat whatever we want to eat whenever we want to. Like tomorrow morning, you guys could just have ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> All right, don't judge me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up my heart again, okay. <laughs> ice cream for breakfast. Think back to when you were a kid. This, okay, I grew up in the 1980s. Yeah. It was a much simpler time, right? Before Ben met Jerry, ice cream wasn't that sophisticated. <laughs> you essentially had three flavors. You had chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, that's it. If you went to somebody's house and they had mint chocolate chip ice cream, the green kind, you're like, whoa, these people must be rich. Are you guys gonna get a pool next year or maybe an elevator, right? Like... And the mint chocolate chip ice cream had to be green. It had to be. Because sometimes they would try to chip you off and it would say mint chocolate chip ice cream, you open it up and it was white. I remember that one time, my little brother's like, oh, this is disgusting. And my mom's like, there's nothing wrong with it. And he was like, give it to dad. I know dad will eat it. <laughs> Here's the thing, I'm the middle of three boys, okay? Food in my house growing up was a valuable commodity. You had to learn how to eat fast or there wasn't gonna be enough. So in my house, it was rules of the jungle. The older you were, the fatter you were. It was that simple. Because <laughs> you could eat fast, like my dad was fat. My big brother was fat, I was chubby. My poor little brother Marky was so skinny that when he got excited, you could actually see his heart beat in his chest. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so everybody was like, it has to be the green mint chocolate chip ice cream. And we'd always try. And like, you would go to the store, no mint chocolate chip. The one time we buy it, it was white. And then I remember this, fateful hot summer night, somewhere in the early 1980s. And I remember my dad just looked at me and my brothers. He was like, hey buddies, do you feel lucky? We're like, what do you mean? He goes, let's go to the store. Let's see if they have the green kind. We're like, let's do it. <laughs> They have mint chocolate chip. The outside of the box is green. Everything's going well. We're like, there's a chance it could really be the green delicious kinds. We take it home and me and my brothers are around this half gallon of ice cream like it was the briefcase from Pulp Fiction. You know, like what's in there? And my fat big brother's using all of his fat kid strength to crank it open like with a chisel, like we're breaking into a safe, like boo, boo. And he finally opens it up. We get blinded by green. There's Christmas level joy in our house. We're like, Everybody's eating ice cream. And I remember my little brother was like, Mom, may I please have a second bowl? She was like, okay, Marky. And then I was like, Mom, may I please have a second bowl? And she was like, sweetie, you don't need a second bowl. And I was like, son of a fish, where's the justice? <laughs> and when I was seven, I really thought the expression was son of a fish. <laughs> I did. Because <laughs> my dad would say it watching football. He'd be like, son of a fish, hit somebody. And I'm like, yes, yeah, son of a fish. And he was like, that's right, buddy. I, I remember when I was nine years old, my friend Chris heard me say son of a fish and he was like, what did you say to me? He was like, what did you say? I'm like, you heard me. <laughs> son of a fish. And he was like, you know, that's not the expression. I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> and he tried to tell me what he thought it meant. And I was like, that doesn't even make sense. And he was like, how does son of a fish make sense? And I go, it's a papa fish swimming and his son is not swimming fast enough. And he's like, son of a fish, pick up the pace. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. <laughs> so that night, I couldn't get to sleep because there's this delicious green mint chocolate chip ice cream. There's still probably about two good bowls left in that half gallon. And I can't get to sleep that night. 
because I knew something delicious wasn't going to last. Marky already had a second bowl. Chris, you always had to watch out for. But the person I was really concerned about was my dad, because he didn't have a bedtime. He would strike in the middle of the night like a thief. We would hear him. I'm like, are we getting robbed? And my older brother's like, son of a fish. I think that's dad. And he'd go downstairs and he'd hear, no, no, get mom, get mom. And my mom's like, Marky, what happened? He's like, okay, mom, remember how you got me Cool Ranch Doritos? Because I don't like anything else. And you said, okay, Marky, these will be your special treat. Well, guess what? Dad was eating my special treat right in front of me. I called him. And I said, but dad, mom got me those Cool Ranch Doritos. And he just kept on crunching them and crunching them. I said, dad, look at the bag. She even left a note. It says, please do not eat Marky's with a smiley face. And then he said, don't worry, buddy. I'll get more. And I know that's a lie because dad never goes shopping. <laughs> so I'm just saying I didn't want that to happen <laughs> to the delicious ice cream so I remember before I fell asleep I went oh, ice cream for breakfast I'm a genius now the next morning I was the first kid awake in my house Normally, I was always the last kid awake. But there's ice cream on the line. I had to get in there before my brothers. And my mom was shocked. She had her back turned. And she was like, is that who I think it is? And she turns around, she goes, good morning, sweetie. And I'm like, it is a good morning. <laughs> How about a little ice cream for breakfast? And she went, ugh, that's disgusting. And I went, mom, I'm not asking you to eat it. I'm asking you to scoop it. You wanna help me out here? I couldn't get into the freezer, you know, it's up high. I remember, I remember my mom looked at me, she said, honey, you can't have ice cream for breakfast. And I was like, why not? She was like, cause you need to start your day with something nutritious. Like how about a bowl of Apple Jacks? <laughs> That's bad 80s logic. It's a bowl of sugar either way. Because when you're six, you want the cereal. But by the time you're eight, you're a connoisseur. What you really want is that sugar milk from the bottom of the bowl. That's Jack Daniels for an eight-year-old. You're doing shots before the school bus. Like, mother loving sugar milk. Take away the pain. Sugar milk. Right? <laughs> so I was like, please, mom, can I have ice cream for breakfast? She was like, honey, I'm the adult. You're the child. If you want to have ice cream for breakfast, you're going to have to wait until you're a grown up. And I was like, oh, I will. <laughs> Every day. And then I forgot about it <laughs> for like 30 years. And that's when God, okay, this is what happened. I was out on the road. I didn't have any food in my apartment. Like I was working for a couple weeks. I come home, I go to sleep, I work at the con, I come back. Next morning I wake up starved. There's no food in my apartment. But that doesn't stop me from looking in places where I know it's not, right? Like I opened up the drawer which is just like Chinese food takeout menus and batting cage tokens. I opened up the oven, like somebody put a turkey in there like in a cartoon, like boo whoop. I was like, nothing. Then I opened the freezer. Now I don't buy anything frozen, but I opened the freezer and there was a brand new pint of delicious ice cream in there. And I remember going, how did that get there? I think maybe it was my guardian angel or something because it was brand new. There was no spoon scars or nothing. It was a brand new pint of ice cream that I didn't put in there. And I put it back because I remember thinking, well, you can't have ice cream for breakfast. And I turned around and I went, or can I? It's about to go down. I take out the ice cream. It's eight in the morning. Joy is going through my body. I take out my phone and I hit Pandora. That's a random radio station. Hall and Oates is rich girl comes on at that second. You might not believe in God, but that's all the evidence I need. I'm eating ice cream and I can hear you can rely on the old man's money. I was like, I'll give up tomorrow. Cause right now life is perfect. 